Hey friends, welcome back. I'm in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. Beautiful city in this gorgeous city. The most underrated city, I think, personally, in Europe. Today's video, we are gonna be touring around and show you a little bit more about the city. I'm arriving out to this beautiful church. It's like a, it's a Russian church. Look at it. Beautiful church. So beautiful. Let me show you one of my favorite cathedrals here in Europe. I love this church a lot. You can see part of it from here. I don't know if it's uh, gonna come along on this camera, but over there. We're gonna get closer in a minute. And there's always like here, there's always market. I'm a bit early, like, what time is it now? It's like 10.30, maybe around 11, they start like coming out and preparing, all the vendors will start preparing them, their products and start selling. It's a very beautiful day today here in Sofia. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 the climate is perfect. It's mid August now. Look at those cameras here, old school. Vintage. Shall I buy one and vlog with it? Look at this. So beautiful. What a gorgeous cathedral. By the way, the gold that you see on top there, on the dome, it's, uh, it's actually real gold. But we, before we go around and checking it and maybe actually I'll probably go inside I'll show you the infinity flame never ever put out this fire this is the infinity flame it's just next to the cathedral Saint Alexander Navisky Cathedral Let's go and check it out and get closer to this place. Look at it. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, all this gold here. All this gold here, there, and on top as well. This is all real gold. <laughs> it's, it's all real gold. All right, I'm gonna go inside now and we'll check it out from inside, but just bear in mind that I'm not gonna be able to speak or narrate just for this moment while I'm inside. Right, I was told off uh, for no camera to be used inside the, the church unless if I pay for it. Um, so this is all what I could capture from it. But I think it's, it's just a beautiful church from inside and outside as well. This is the side of it. Look at this. This is from the side. Ah, it's the, from the side, this angle, I think it's much more beautiful than from the front. <laughs> Look at this church from this angle here. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. So beautiful. All right, let's head over to another destination now, another place, and continue exploring. I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna go next, but I'm just wandering around. Just walk in and uh, see what what I remember or what places to find out about. Let's see. Look at this 
gorgeous architecture and this building so beautiful not sure how is it coming out but the color is green and there is a lot of like texture and also sculptures here over here and over there as well very beautiful also the, the one next to it is is gorgeous too I'm coming on to this hidden gym it's a cafe but uh, let me explain a bit later uh, I'll see if it's still there first I just asked about this cafe that I really wanted to go to just to have a quick coffee with a beautiful view over the city um, but yeah it's gone it's uh, it's not there anymore and uh, the, the secret behind this cafe was it's in a governmental building and anybody is welcome but officially the cafe is made for the employees in the office but anybody can go in and go upstairs and have a coffee or some food and then you know enjoy the view but obviously now it's gone and uh, you like you won't be able to find this place if it still existed without being told about it and I was told about it when I was living here so <laughs> it's gone now anyway off to the next destination uh, look at this road man this is like a yellow ro brick road and it goes all the way like from here all the way to there and I'm gonna get closer to that statue that's the one and only her name is Sophia one of my favorite female name and uh, she's standing tall let's go and say hi to her I wanted to cross the street because it was it was a, a big street to cross from above so I had to go down uh, underground and cross it and I came across <laughs> I came across this <laughs> Eastern Gate Ancient Complex I could cross like I can go over there and cross I don't know where that leads to or this way but this is a, like a great point here in the city <laughs> right coming on now to the to Sophia she's standing tall and we're gonna say hi to her look at her over there so gorgeous you can see here uh, down below some of the um, some of the walls the old walls for the city there's none here so it's just here I don't know if I don't know if it's coming up to the camera also around this area there's high security there's a lot of cops a lot of police and I've noticed like they, they just eyeball me constantly because I'm holding a camera so I'm just gonna take like approaching Sophia now the statue and then after that, I want to exit this area. Those cops, like, you know, they get sensitive in front of cameras. There she is, standing tall, with a bird on one shoulder and a halo, I think. Or uh, like, uh, yeah, I don't know what's the other thing on her, on her other arm. But yeah, gorgeous. And then like, this, this here, by the way, this is, <laughs> This is a metro station here, like all this, I can go down there and catch a metro underneath, but they have like blended the metro station with, you know, monuments and artifacts and uh, the old wall. And it's like, this I, I said it like before, I think in the previous videos, there's one cool metro stop. Metro stops here are really, really cool, uh, very beautiful. and. This is probably one of my favorites. Look at this. This here is 
I don't know what it is <laughs> but under there you can catch like a metro and go to your destination and now <clears throat> coming on to there is the mosque over there which is quite beautiful too let's go towards the mosque and if I remember correctly oh yeah I remember now we're gonna go to the market let's go explore the market <laughs> by the way this is where the complex is uh, the old it's called old Serdica complex all this like you know uh, they, they just kept it open for the public and obviously not to be touched around but this is like a type of like monuments or artifacts uh, in ancient history I guess and there is the mosque there is something cool that I remember around this area that I want to I want to see again and then after that we go to the market look how beautiful this building is so colorful it's gorgeous I think this is a museum I'm not entirely sure but gorgeous and now let's go to the hot springs here in the city central Sofia there are hot springs here that you can drink the water is full of iron and it's warm over here is the hot springs and this is a uh, drinkable water and all the locals come over here and refill their bottles very warm and and also tasty like it has a flavor an iron flavor Oh, it's, it's really hot. It's hot, like it's really hot. Oh, it tastes not so good. And you can swallow it, of course. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't taste good, but it's meant to be good for you. <laughs> All right, let's go now explore the indoor market. And then afterwards we'll explore the outdoor market and they're just next to each other that's why so I'm just coming on now to the indoor market and it's fairly beautiful entrance you know it's got like a clock on the top and then that's the main entrance there and it's just right to the mosque right let's do it I have a lot of eyes on me here. So many eyes on me, police, locals. This area is is okay. Is it closed? No. Oh my god. It's closed. It's finished. No. To my shock, it's closed. It's shut down, not just closed. They shut it down, indoor market. They did, no? They <laughs> sent. It's finished? Yes. Oh my god. It will be the Oh, another one? Yes. Ah, okay. After reconstruction. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Well, the beauty about vlogging, you get answers randomly. She heard me talking about this and she says, yeah, it's end, it's finished. But reconstruction and then they reopen it again. Oh well, let's go to the outdoor market. This is not the outdoor market. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just bumping into places here. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh yeah, that's cool. Right, on the way to the outdoor market, by the way, I keep saying outdoor market because it's just because it's outdoor, but it's not called outdoor. It's actually called women's market. I don't know why it's called that, 
but it is written like this on Google Maps. So we'll call it women's markets from now on. And right now on the way, what you can do is you can have a second walking street here in Sofia. So in the previous videos or in the future videos, I don't know how I'm gonna publish them. They, there is the main walking street. It's a big, it's called Vitosha, I think it was. Um, but now this is like another walking street here. I'll, I'll give you a quick tour. It's not as like, as beautiful as Vitosha's, I think, but this is like, uh, I think this was like the first one and then Vitosha is the second one, the renewed one. I think, look, I'm just, I'm just like, uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just predicting in my head. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you've got everything. Like you've got clothes shops here, shoe shop. Wedding dresses. For my next Sofia. If your name is Sofia, do comment below. Let me know. My only 1% of my subscribers are female. Coming on to the market right now. I can see the beginning of it. This is it. And let's check it out. We got nuts here. Different varieties. There's some raisins and dry fruit. Yeah, different nuts. Pistachio. And here is the market. And look at the fruit. Oh, there's figs. Oh, they look delicious. Zdravete. Oh my god, they're soft. That's a lot though. You speak English? Yes, but don't shoot me. No problem. No problem. Uh, can I buy figs? But I don't want that many. That's too much for me. This is the way how you sell it? Yes. Can I, like, you give me in a bag? Uh, how, how much? Uh, just four. Four pieces. Where do you come from? Where I come from? Yeah. I come from Ireland. Ireland? Yeah. Dublin, Cork? Uh, Kerry. <laughs> North Ireland? It's south, west. South. Ciao. Ciao. Ah, nice. So? We managed to get it separately. Because th this, no problem. This is a lot for me. No, it's not a lot. <laughs> for, <laughs> for me, I bought figs. Let me find a place to sit down, give them a taste test, and then we continue the tour. But this is like more here, like more market. You can buy some cheese inside as well. So, so cool. Delicious Bulgarian cheese and fresh fruit. So, I got four figs, but they're decent size, huh? For how much was it? Two leva, which is like one, about one, one dollar, let's say. And uh, let's give them a taste test, shall we? Mm. So good, sweet. Wow, very nice, delicious. Mm. 
Wow. Amazing. All right, just had the figs now. And let's get back to it. You can see there is... Typical Bulgarian. This here, it's like a, I don't know, like the the pattern is is like Bulgarian um, style. And there's more fruit and vegetables. Got some pots here. Very traditional. This is all like very traditional Bulgarian. And all like wool, wool blankets. And of course on this side like there are there are some vendors as well and sellers. Quite busy today. It's busy here, the market. It's still early in the morning as well, like probably, well not early, very early. I started the day like around 9, uh, but now it's like probably around 11 or so, maybe past 11. Okay, I'll take. Uh, one pair of socks costs one lever, which is like 50 cents. I need socks. I'm short. I don't want to negotiate. I usually negotiate, but I'm not going to negotiate. One lever, he told me one, and I'm just only going to give him one. If he asks for more, now after saying yes. <laughs> you understand? You speak English? Ah, uh, okay. He speaks English, so we got caught now. It's even more fun now. <laughs> the negotiation. <laughs> don't need a receipt brother I'm not returning it I, I bet you it's not one lever it's not I asked him off camera and he said one that's why I said I'll take it but he's gonna raise up the price now I know it <laughs> with the camera this always happened <laughs> I know it's uh, it's actually the price no BS it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No worries, no worries. No bad. No, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. They understood. <laughs> At least one of them did. <laughs> Alright, we got socks. Just short, short socks for the next... Before the winter starts. I have only like one month I'll be using this. I'll probably throw them away. <laughs> They'll be done, overdone. Oh yeah, over there in the far side, you're gonna be able to see uh, actually a bigger vegetable and fruit market. We're gonna get there in a minute. I'm not gonna buy anything, I don't think so at least. Right, coming on to the market, well, the fruit and vegetable market here fairly crowded as well fresh fruit and fresh vegetable here in Bulgaria in Sofia look at those wow shall I double check if I was over uh, overpaid for the figs <laughs> I don't want I don't want to know <laughs> Wow, man, this is so, so, so... I love markets. I love markets. Look at the quality of all this. And this here in Bulgaria, by the way, the red, the red peppers. Or, yeah, they're called red peppers, I guess. Um, the long ones. They are very famous here in Bulgaria. 
and they grow in here as well and they make something extremely delicious out of it um, it's called lotanita very delicious uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I can show you this but it comes like in a jar usually and you dip it with bread and olive oil and you eat it amazing amazing very simple yet delicious and nuts and more nuts we're coming on to the vegetables right now onion garlic and of course corn Bulgaria is very famous with corn as well and you, you, you can buy them in the street there is like a, it's a, like a street food they boil it in the street and you can buy it ready to eat right coming on to the very end of this market you can see like it's uh, the very end is like vegetables the other one like at the very at the very beginning there was fruit and now at the very end there's the vegetables right time to exit this area and some of you might actually not believe this but I honestly usually don't know what I'm doing like I'm lucky that I know the city here fairly well but <laughs> moving on like after this video whatever you're gonna see is literally I know nothing about the places that I go to I do minimum research in any place that I go to I just like to have that cultural shock and that experience I don't wanna there's no point for me like to to research everything online before exploring a place it just does not make any sense to me anyway right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this area here get out of the market and head somewhere else not a clue where but I know it's gonna be good I just know it always works out it's fine you know I did let's go this is where like the corn uh, you can buy from already boiled and ready to eat I didn't make the shot very long is because <laughs> the lady was looking at me they're paranoid here with cameras so I'm just trying to like always as much as possible just have the camera on me rather than you know some people wouldn't like it just out of respect, I guess, for the tradition and the culture. Shower Makbir? Ah, no, it's not. There's five or six. Five? Five. You can Right, I'm still around the area here, around the market. This is actually the very beginning. I, I walked back. I saw this place. It's called Shawarma Dubai. It's written also the menu in Arabic and Cyrillic, Bulgarian. And it looks very appetizing. I couldn't resist. I guess it's lunchtime now. <laughs> it's always unplanned. <laughs> yeah, let's try chicken shawarma here in Sofia near the market or at the market Aide. by the way Aide means let's go or in Arabic it's very famous Yalla This is tomb? Yes Can you add tomb? Extra tomb? He's making my sandwich now This is like tomb uh, garlic man that's a fat sandwich nice I love it it looks big it's good it's five level which is about two fifty dollars and also I'm buying this here is like a yogurt a yogurt drink and it's called Iran 
very famous in this part of the world. You're gonna hear or see me drinking this a lot in this journey. All the way from Bulgaria to the next destination would be Turkey and onwards. Everybody drinks this drink and it's absolutely delicious. What do you want to do? I want to eat it. Yes. I want to eat it. 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 There was some complication about taking the money because he's, he doesn't want to touch the money, which it makes sense. And I only have one hand as well. I'm vlogging. <laughs> anyway, this is it. Give me a moment, let me prepare and do like a, a first bite test. Right, let's do a taste test. As always, first bite is a big bite. <laughs> Taste test, bigger bite. Second bite, always bigger bite, right? Mm. It's really good. Worth it, hundred percent worth it. Wow. Very nice. I'm gonna finish this now and we continue the tour. Yalla. Right. Chicken shawarma was amazing. Really, really good. $2.50. Man, you can't beat that. Right now I'm gonna head back into like the small walking street where I came from. I'm gonna try and grab a coffee and maybe something sweet if I find something, you know? I just came to this place here in the main street, in the walking street, and it serves really good desserts. I think this is baklava, and I think I'm gonna take one. <laughs> Salam, Jawa. <laughs> YouTuber, uh, Palestinians, huh? Syria. Syria? Hello, sir. Maghreb. I'm not Palestinian. Hello, hello. Hello, Palestinian. I'm uh, uh, Shaman. I'm in Zaman. I'm in the world. 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 It's me. It's me. Mo. Mo Drag. Mo Drag. Mohammed. He called me not anymore. He wants my YouTube channel. My first person asked me what's my channel in this country. It happens to be from Syria. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe. Meeting random people here in the dessert place, like a pastry place. They're from one from Palestine, one from Syria. Got served the baklava. Here it is. <laughs> Fairly fat, like you know, fairly big, and looks really delicious. I'm gonna give it a, a big bite. First bite, always big bite. And they gave me this, like, what is this? Do you baklava with knife and fork, man? <laughs> what do you think you are? Always in the hand. It's gonna get messy anyway. Oh yeah, there it is, like that. Oh wow, amazing, really good, the texture, very very delicious, delicious, and coffee is served as well, by the way I'm sitting with my new friends here, 
Um, <laughs> random. Just had this uh, baklava. It was really good, very delicious. Met a couple of guys as well. One from Syria and one from Palestine. Very nice, lovely people. We had a fun conversation and uh, we just let them go now. I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all for watching if you made it this far. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. And give the video a thumbs up. It helps the algorithms. And as always, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.